Hey buddies, it's Teresa again, your favorite mushroom girl. In today's video, I am at base camp and I wanna show you guys around some of the work that we've been doing on the van. And I wanna show you guys some of the mushrooms that I find around this area. But first, let's check out the van. So we got the floors done, we got some walls. Insulation is uh, wool and I feel like I'm kind of allergic to it or something so that kind of sucks like I don't know I can like there's lots of little fibers so it's not really good to breathe that in so that kind of sucks but it should be covered up and it should be fine so yeah we got the fan we got the solar panels I got a refrigerator over there so that'll be really nice to have like cold food whenever I want. It's gonna be a game changer, really. There's Franco. Hey, Mr. Dove. Come here, Frank. Say hi, bub. Aw, that's a good dog. Um, so yeah, we've been working on that for like the past month or so. Like most of it is my mom. She knows how to do this stuff. She built her own van. She had, um, she lived in her van for like five years. So uh, she knows how to do this stuff and I wouldn't have been able to do this without her really. I helped with like little stuff like getting the floor in and like helping with the insulation and stuff but she's really, I wouldn't be able to do this without her. So she's pretty badass. Um, my sister has been helping us a little bit too. She's an engineer. And my sister actually bought my mom's van that she lived in for five years. So now my sister lives in a van. We're basically all van people, van family I guess. So it runs in the family, um, but yeah, I should be on the road hopefully within a couple weeks. Um, I can't wait to go mushroom hunting again and just be on the road and just camping and be in nature and it's going to be really good. Yeah, so we're just going to have like, I think we're just going to do insulation, walls, um, and then put a simple bed in and not worry about anything else. like. We'll do like cabinets and stuff eventually, but I'm not too worried about it. I really just want to get on the road, get going. So that's a little van update. Um, but now I want to show you guys some of the mushrooms I find around base camp. So let's go. guys my first morel of the season it's so cute i knew it would be right here too i came here like two weeks ago and it looked like the perfect spot for it but it was a little bit too dry but it's been raining and it's perfect weather for it there's a nice stream nearby there's been lots of uh like may apple things i don't see any right here but there were a bunch in this other spot that I'm gonna check too. So that's a good sign for morels. But look how heckin' cute. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yay. Look, there's a little, this one got squished or something. But I bet there's a, oh, there's one right there. Someone scooped it up. I think this is gonna be a good spot. Yes. This is the May apple that I was talking about. It's everywhere over here. I'm hoping to find some more. It looks like the perfect spot. There's a stream right here. It's moist. I bet you I find at least a couple more. Ramps! Millions and millions of beautiful ramps. These are wild onions, also named leeks. This is one of my few edible plants that I can ID pretty easily. They come up in the same spot every year and I love eating them fresh out of the ground or I'll cook with them. The leaves are my favorite part, but you can dig up the bulb and eat it too. You can cook with it just like you'd cook with any onion. But be careful because the internet police will yell at you for digging them up. Some people claim that they won't grow back if you dig up too many, but I literally only took eight out of like millions. So I think we're gonna be okay and we're not gonna go extinct. But everyone on the internet has an opinion about every little thing these days, and they really aren't shy about letting you know how they feel. So there you go, it's all right. Let's go. Big 
Seroporus squamosus, aka dryad saddle or pheasant back, is an edible mushroom that I talked about in my Tennessee video. It's edible, but usually not everyone's favorite. I heard it's better when it's smaller and it gets too tough when it matures, but some people make mushroom stock out of it though. Devil's urn is another spring fungi. It's goblet-shaped cup fungi, and it grows on sticks or small logs. Fuck this bear corn. This son of a gun tricks me every freaking time. It looks just like morels, and I always run over thinking I found the freaking mother load. But no, it's just this hoe-ass bear corn. God damn it. Bear corn kind of crazy it's a weird little non photosynthesizing parasitic plant and since it doesn't photosynthesize it can't make its own food so it has to steal some from other plants so yeah fuck this guy so I just randomly found this wood ear mushroom you can see why it's called wood ear it's like you can, it's kind of earish looking it's like super meaty I thought it was like a meaty leaf at first I was like wait a minute it wasn't attached to anything it was just like off the trail Usually it grows on wood, but it was just like off the trail. And it's, it's really weird because it feels like flesh. It feels exactly like skin. It feels like ball sack skin, honestly. It's really weird. <laughs> like if you do this, that's ball sack skin right there. So if you're ever in the woods and you're like, man, I really wish I could feel some ball sack skin right now. Just find this wood here and it will help you out. Look. Beautiful. <laughs> Here's some more wood ear mushroom. Some of these get ushy and gushy and wet and juicy. This yellow globby mass is called witch's butter and it's a jelly fungi kind of like the wood ear. It's edible and some people make jelly candies with it. I just learned that it doesn't actually grow on wood itself. It's actually a parasite on the hidden mycelium of a crust fungus. So that's pretty cool. I learned something new. Here is an ascomycete in the genus Hypoxylon. And usually something like this would be really boring to me, but it's actually pretty cool because this species grows symbiotically with Tremella fusiformis or the snow fungus, which is another jelly fungi. Maybe if I come back in a couple weeks, I'll actually find the jelly fungi growing here. So you have to have both species in order to fruit the snow fungus, and they actually grow it as food in China. I'd love to learn how to grow it someday. I'm pretty sure this guy is Exidia glandulosa, or the black witch's butter, which is another jelly fungi. He's squishy, and he's growing next to some lichens. One of my mushroom hunting tips is to wear cute mushroom themed clothes, because how is the mushroom going to know you're dedicated unless you're wearing cute mushroom stuff? Duh. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, this is a big one. Fuck yeah, dude. Ooh. Damn, something started eating it though. Shoot. Should've got here earlier, I guess. That gives me hope though. Oh my god, this one's freaking huge, dude. Oh my god. It's so cute. It's all in these pines, I guess. It's like pines, some birch. Man, this might be like the biggest one I've found. Hell yeah. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Oop, this could be us, buddy. Well, that's all I got for you today, folks. The morels I found were a little old, but I still cooked them up with some of the wild ramps that I found and they were freaking delicious. Honestly, spring foraging isn't my favorite, but I'm way more excited for summer fall foraging, but it won't be long. Hopefully next time you see me, I'll be in the van and headed out on new adventures. So please like and subscribe for more mushroom shenanigans. Okay, love you. Bye.